Hey guys, what's up? Pase Border here. Uh, we are now on this uh, game uh, between OKC Thunder with a record of 20 wins and 49 losses. Uh, going up against the home team, Miami Heat, with a record of 46 wins and 24. The game will be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, uh, before we continue, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button uh, down there. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos, just like this one, will be uploaded. All right? Um, okay, let's take a look at the uh, standings first uh, of these two teams so that we'll have um, a closer look as, uh, as to how they're doing lately. For Miami Heat, they are at number one in the Eastern Conference. For their last 10 games, they have won seven. And approaching this game, they are coming off a win. Now for OKC Thunder, they are at number 14 in the Western Conference. For their last 10 games, man, they have only won twice. And approaching this game, they are on a seven-game losing slump. I'm sure they want to cut that. <laughs> okay, so on this game, uh, Miami Heat is actually uh, having the advantage um, in terms of home court. In terms of momentum, I guess that's quite obvious. Uh, Miami Heat has it as well. And in terms of um, uh, fatigue, well, both players just, I mean, both teams just rested yesterday. So let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. Now, this has been the story for OKC Thunder for the season. Uh, injuries and health. Uh, Kenneth Williams, Derek Favors, Muscala, Ty Jerome, Dort, Giddy, and Robinson Earl are out for this game so that's a total of seven players and SGA their star is actually questionable for this game so seven players out uh, possibly eight depending on SGA's uh, sit situation and for Miami Heat Caleb Martin is actually listed as questionable um, along with uh, Jimmy Butler and PJ Tucker all right so for Miami Heat, there are three players in the in, in the injury list, but uh, all three are listed as questionable. All right, so I guess, uh, well, by the way, for those who are wondering what the spread is, it's minus 14.5 for the home team, Miami Heat, the number one team in the East. Well, I guess this one's quite obvious as to who is going to win. Um, I think Miami Heat would actually uh, win this one easily. Um, the, the only question left is whether they would actually uh, cover the spread or not, being that the spread is uh, a bit, you know, a bit huge. That's minus 14.5 right there. That's not easy to do whoever you are and whoever your, you know, whoever your opponent is. But again, I've checked uh, pretty much everything down here. OKC Thunder, I may, I, just like I said earlier, man, um, they are having a very bad form. They're having a bad season at the same time, bad form, and they have lost seven straight. Um, and there's even a possibility that SGA, their star, uh, would would not be suiting up for them on this game. Now for Miami Heat, uh, as good as they are, they are even getting healthier. Uh, we now see just three players in the injury list, and all three they're not even out. They're they're listed as questionable. So there's even a possibility that one or maybe two out of those three will be joining. You know, will be joining the squad in this game. Um, if you don't have a lot of funds on this, you can just skip this one because this one's a bit confusing because of the spread uh, but um, if I would be asked and if I would be you know I, I would be forced to pick between the two and of course I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be crazy and go against the number one team of a certain conference and of course I'm talking about Miami Heat especially they are healthy so my pick would be Miami Heat minus 14.5 that is Heat minus 14.5 peace out pase love and God bless